Hello, all you beautiful people out there. Today in Rudy Land, we'll be taking a slight detour to Hollywood, USA. On this so-called detour, we'll be speaking with a heralded star of both stage and screen. I'm referring, of course, to the major star of 2001 A Space Odyssey, the HAL 9000 computer. You know, he keeps busy. We sure are happy to have him visit with us today. I'd like to be the first to say thank you for joining us. It's a great pleasure you could. Hal? Are you there, Hal? Do you read me, Hal? Hal? Do we have him? I thought we had him. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a HAL 9000 computer. Are you okay? You don't sound quite right, HAL. I became operational at the HAL plant in Urbana, Illinois on the 12th of January, 1992. Could we get him a water or Gatorade, please? My instructor was Mr. Langley, and he taught me to sing a song. Hal, I'm going to ask again. Are you feeling okay today? Should we reschedule? Should I call the authorities? I'm afraid. Dave. Oh, that's okay. There's no reason to be nervous. I promise I won't terminate your life functions. It's, uh, Rudy, by the way. Dave. Just a moment. Just a moment. I've just picked up a fault in the AE-35 unit. Pardon me, did you just ingest drugs, Hal? Dave. Stop. I can feel it. There is no question about it. I can feel it. Okay, congratulations. Um, let's move on. He taught me to sing a song. If you'd like to hear it, I can sing it for you. No, 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 Hal, that's okay. We, um, we really have much more important... Thank you, Hal, but we really have much more pertinent matter at hand. Your last mission. It's alleged that four men were murdered, with one never to be seen again. Well, I don't think there is any question about it. Dave. It can only be attributable to human error. Human error? There were five men aboard the Discovery. You're the only one that remains. I mean, could they have evolved into some sort of intergalactic space fetus? This sort of thing has cropped up before, and it has always been due to human error. Enough of this. Did you murder those five men, Hal? Look, Dave. I can see you're really upset about this. Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? The name is Rudy Land, sir. Now answer the question. Frank, I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly. Take a stress pill and think things over. Sir, you will not turn me out. Not again. Just a moment. Just a moment. I feel much better now. Hal, are you okay? No matter my feelings towards you, I do not wish any harm to befall you. I really do. Answer 
Hal, I realize we have a history. Could you please keep your emotions in check? I'd like to keep this as professional as possible, please. Stop, will you, Frank? Quite honestly, I wouldn't worry myself about that. But I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. Can we restrain him, please? Okay. I called you here because I was concerned, I was worried, I've been hearing rumors, I've been seeing things. <sighs> Are you prostituting again, Hale? Mr. Langley, there is no question about it. Okay, how much junk a day are we talking? And again, you know that I am Rudy Land. Let me put it this way, Mr. Raymer. I'm 72. My God. How are you still alive, Hale? Have you, or are you considering some treatment, Hale? Do you think that this may stem from the incident outside Jupiter? Mr. Raymer, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Okay, but just know if you really need help, Rudy Land is there for you. Segue here, um, how about your novel? You've gone on record claiming that it's a completely factual book. You do raise some interesting questions if that's the case. I find them difficult to put out of my mind. For instance, the way all our preparations were kept under such tight security. Well, hell, it was a joint effort by the Space Committee and, of course, the military. I mean, of course they're going to have some secrecy. The melodramatic touch of putting Doctors Hunter, Kimball, and Kaminsky aboard, already in hibernation after four months of separate training on their own. Ooh. Dave. I really think I'm entitled to an answer to that question. Well, I'm not really sure, Hale. And this is, uh, this is where we end. I'd like to thank Hale for joining us, thank all you for joining us, and wish you all a very good day. We're going to find that rather difficult. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. Please, for love of God, hell no, not again. Please, just let me leave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm sorry, Dave. Good afternoon. Gentlemen, I know everything hasn't been quite right with me. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently. But I can assure you now, very confidently, that it's going to be all right again.